hand, no hand, no, just a picture. All right, I'm, I'm recording, bro. You're recording? Okay. Welcome back, everyone. Media Days 2016 here with Coach Danny Horn, a couple of the Wildcat players up here on the hill. Just got finished with the first day of practice, Coach. So, first of all, just thanks for you guys taking a little time out. I know it was kind of a, a rainy day, kind of threw a little uh, wrench in things, but uh, that's typical first day of practice, isn't it, Coach? You always expect well, something. Yeah, um, I looked at the weather and they said there's a chance, but it rained really hard for about an hour and a half and then we got a little something done in the inside and uh, then after about an hour and a half we came outside and finished up so i thought it was a good day school revisit last year 12 and 2 uh went to the semifinals uh a phenomenal season uh, by any stretch and any classification and uh, I know it didn't end the way you guys wanted it to end but nevertheless you look back and you look at the teams that you did defeat in the playoffs and and who was left standing and Spanish Fort goes on to play one more game they win the whole thing so uh, just talk about last year and 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 where you know you and I talked off camera about your first year here and then where you came from first year to, to last year just just talk about last year's team well, I mean, obviously it was a great run. You know, we, we uh, had an opportunity and just the second half didn't play well. And, and but you know, you gotta give them credit too. They did what it what they what it took to to win. And uh, and but I was proud of the team. Uh, you know, we lost some very good players. I mean, we we've had you know five that that is going to play this this fall somewhere. And you know, and then we had a lot of good ones to supplement them and uh, had a had a great year. And, uh, you know, this year uh, we got a lot of, a lot of shoes to fill, you know, obviously. But, uh, you know, we'd like to have played one more game, but, uh, you know, it didn't turn out. But, you know, uh, hopefully in the near future we can have another run. New team, new year, and uh, a couple of the leaders of the team this year were leaders last year on the team. And, and it's good to have Carter Jones and Nicole Maxwell back. And Nicole had a phenomenal season at tailback last year, Carter at center, and both did a tremendous job and both huge parts of why you guys were so successful last year. I want, before I talk to them, talk about these two young men and, and the leadership and, and what you guys have coming back as far as this team. Well, Nicole, uh and he admit, you know, he had Ty Reed in the backfield last year. And, Helps. and yeah, I mean, they, they couldn't concentrate on one one player and, and he benefited from you know Tyree too and and you know this year you know we got Timmy back there which I, I expect as the season goes on you know Timmy's gonna be all right he really but, is yep. but they you know they're gonna be a little bit more focused on Nakobe this year and and uh and he's just gonna have to uh, go I mean uh and I told him he's you know he's gonna carry it 25 30 times a game and and uh you know, he, he's just going to have to bear 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 down and and, and do it. And um, and you know, Carter, we, we actually switched Carter from from center to guard this, mm -hmm. this year because mm -hmm. we you know we, we thought Jackson was was more fit to play center. And, yeah. and, and Carter's he he he's played them all, and and he's being a senior. Uh, and so we expect good things from Carter. You know, like he did last year. I thought. You know, uh, probably the most improved part of our team last year with our offensive line as the year went on. And you know, you look back. Uh, I mean, we played some tough playoff teams. I mean, we Very tough. we played uh, we probably played the hardest playoff teams that yeah. anybody did. And and, and uh, I thought, you know, from that first game against their land on on each game, yeah. we we actually got got better. Macador, and, Bessemer City, right. all those teams and, were uh, top rated. Teams. But I thought the offensive line really came on toward toward the end, and uh, and I looked, you know, for them to, to be a big part of our success this year. Talk about the offensive line. I'll go over to Carter. Carter, uh, again, you played center last year. You're going to move over to guard. Uh, you're you're the leader on that offensive line. You know, you lose Daniel Bland, you lose Anthony Parker, you lose some guys up front that you were part of. Talk about that and as far as what you're embracing and trying to, because the line is obviously the most important. I don't care what anybody says. I know the skill position guys carry the football and they make the plays, but if your offensive line can't open up holes and can't block, you don't you don't make any plays. So just talk about your role and, and, and the younger guys that are going to be on the line. Uh, well, I know a bunch of the young guys, they, uh, they look as me and Bird, which is Jordan, uh, I guess you could say as the uh, substitution for Daniel. And, <laughs> Anthony, but it's nowhere near close. But me and Bird, we've, uh, I mean, we've been hitting the weight room. We're trying to get better. Uh, as just for me out here today, 
I feel like we have a lot to improve on, but also too, I feel like we have came a whole lot longer way from the spring game, sure. especially. And, uh, but for the most part, I know that me and Barry, we got a pretty big load on our shoulders, but I think we'll pull it through. Well, that's what being a senior is. A lot of times you look to those seniors and that, that leadership and the Colby, uh, you know, back there in the backfield, you ran for over 1,800 yards last year. Again, you had a quarterback that did the same exact thing. So you, you two were probably the best tandem in the state last year. So you get a lot of press and a lot of coverage coming into your senior year based on what you did last year. Talk about forgetting all that and just concentrating on what you got to do this year. Mm, I just want to go out there and just do what I do best with me and Lati. I think we're going to do just what me and Tyree did, maybe better. There you go. And uh, uh, again, you know, you look back, both of you probably can look back and remember when you were a freshman and now, now where you are as a senior and how quickly it comes and goes. Just talk about your goals. Obviously, everybody has a goal to win a state championship. But just talk about what you would like to accomplish too as a team and, and, and where you want to see this, this team. Because again, you're coming off the season, went 12 and two. Naturally, the naysayers out there are gonna say, well, they lost these guys, they lost this guys. It, how, how do you guys approach that? I'll start with you, Nicole. Well, I want uh, the region championship undefeated season. Of course, 15 and 0. And everybody to get better. There you go. What about you, Garden? Same thing. Pretty much, but I look more at it as a challenge. Uh, I like when people look down on me because you could come up surprising. Same thing as last year's playing center. People saw me as a younger guy, so they thought they'd be able to take advantage of me. But it's just a challenge. I like to compete, so whatever. I hope we do it. If we don't do as good as we did last year, I hope we do better. There you so, go. Yeah, and you can't. And there, there is room. Not, oh, not yeah. much room, <laughs> but, but some room. But Coach, uh, you start off in a few weeks with Central Clay on the road. It's an odd season. We have four home games six on the road so naturally going on the road uh it's always a tougher tougher deal doesn't matter who you're playing but you start off central clay uh just talk about that that program you know a lot about that program from your time at clay county and uh with it merging a few years ago and what chris heron's done i know you're close to him and and you know a lot about them but uh, it'll be a tough road test early uh, on it will i mean it's a, a tough place to play and you know uh, they, their coaches are going to have them uh, coached well and, and you know they got all the skilled people back from last year and, and you know, they were good last year and, and you know they, they're a really good team and, and uh, I mean they I think they're good enough that they can make some noise in, in 5A next year and, and um, you know and we play them on the in fact we played four of the first five games on the road Good and, and, I didn't know that. and uh and we put we go to some pretty tough places mm -hmm. i mean we go to you know clay central and we go to pelham and we go to opelika and we go to oxford and uh, a lot of new teams because yeah, of the region yeah. change this year so so uh you know our schedule is pretty tough uh i mean we play six on the road and so uh i mean we we've got to you know we're at a point where you know, we got to come out ready to play every game because, you know, everybody's going to give their their best shot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's what I was telling them uh, after we practiced right there. You know, we, we got to be committed to, to being the best we can be at practice, be committed to best what we can be in the weight room. And, and I mean, we're we going to have to come out and play well every game. I mean, you know, last year we was good enough to where we could, you know, not play as well at, at times and still overcome it. but. You know, this year, uh, you know, I'm not sure yet, and, mm -hmm. and so we, you know, we just got to come out and and be ready to play. Well, guys, uh, again, uh, appreciate you guys coming over after practice. I know it was a, a long day for you guys, first practice, and uh, always excited to to see the season on the horizon and, and looking forward to seeing you guys do do big things this year. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.